Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next topic is armature winding. This armature winding is related to the synchronous machine. So this is for the synchronous machine. Synchronous machine itself. So we you know that we have two things. One is alternator and another one is the synchronous motor. Yes. Synchronous motor. So when we are discussing the construction of the synchronous machine is two parts stator and rotor here the for the synchronous machine armature winding is nothing but the rotor winding it is the rotor winding okay yes so in order to understand this armature winding first we have to discuss different types of armature windings there are two types of armature winding one is concentrated winding another one is distributed winding okay and concentrated winding is means it is located at our one slot or some of the slots at that part only we are using the winding that will be useful but in the distributed winding we should cover all the slots all the slots of the winding yes so again the distributed winding is two types one is full pitch winding another one is the short pitch winding okay this full pitch winding uh, short pitch winding we will discuss about these things and again the short pitch winding is two types one is integral slot winding another one is fractional slot winding so generally this integral slot winding is called as the normal winding and the fractional slot winding is called as the large winding okay right next these why why we are using these types of windings what are the reasons for different types of windings different types of armature windings is the main intention is all armature windings for the eliminating harmonics what are the harmonics harmonics is unwanted frequencies unwanted frequency waves is nothing but the harmonic so generally harmonics are like this if the required waveform is like this it is a sinusoidal like this if it is third harmonic means we have and this wave is known as the third harmonic if it is a fifth harmonic we have the five cycles instead of two cycles we have 10 cycles are available so all are for using the eliminating the harmonics only so generally the harmonics are one three five seven that means these are the frequencies seventh type of frequencies this is for third harmonic if it is five it consisting of the five cycles like this if it is seven seven cycles like this right but all two we have two four six eight ten all are the called as even harmonics the even harmonics as advantage that is if it is second harmonics for example if you consider the second harmonic the second harmonic is like this one is positive cycle and another one is the negative cycle that means in this it should be cancelled positive and negative positive and negative total rms voltage will become zero here okay so that's why these even harmonics are eliminated itself eliminated itself okay yes how the harmonics effect will be discussed here so generally these are the types in this third fifth seven is the dominant harmonics generally these are called dominant harmonics the 9 11 13 is called the higher order harmonics this is called lower order harmonics these called higher order harmonics okay next mmf due to the third harmonic is f3 that is 1 by 3 by f1 f1 means fundamental so generally this is the first frequency fundamental frequency and this is the third frequency this is the fifth frequency right 
So generally, these the MMF due to the third harmonic is one by third of the first frequency. That is thirty three percent of the fundamental. So F I is one by fifth of the harmonic. That means one by fifth means it has the twenty percent of the fundamental output. Yeah. What about nth? Nth means so if if you want any any number of harmonic that is one by n into f n, one by n into f n. Okay, right. So this is the MMF due to the harmonics. Next, we have uh, generally we can divide the harmonics is another part. That is, these are these are called third harmonic, ninth harmonic. 15th as well as 21 3 into 1 3 3 into 3 9 3 into 5 15 3 into 7 21 these are called triplet harmonics or zero sequence harmonics triplet harmonics are zero sequence harmonics okay right by using line connection we can remove triplet harmonics easily we can remove the triplet harmonics okay so Remaining these harmonics are not, not also a different thing. Right. So now we will discuss what are the different different terms in the armature winding. First, first term is the coil. First is the coil. Coil means, for example, it is the rotor. Coil is generally it starts from here and it start from here and goes into the deep and again it will ending from here and come to this so this part is called coil generally the coil is like this coil is like this so the construction is it starts from here and ending from here okay these are called generally the coil sides so between these we can call the coil span we can call it as the coil span and this is called this area this point to this point is called active length of the coil active length of the coil right and this is called one coil side and this is called another coil side we can call it as the coil side and another one is the another coil side coil has two coil sides okay this is called active length next coil span beta coil span beta so we can define the coil span is like this it is the distance between two coil side it can be represented in electrical degrees or mechanical degrees or pole pitches okay the distance between these two coil side is called the coil span uh, we can represent with is the beta generally this is called the beta okay so if generally pole pitches if coil span generally the coil span is pole pitch or 180 degrees electrical or it has total number of slots are consisted to pole then it is called then it is called full pitch coil or full pitch winding that means it's completely it's completely available full pitch coil or full pitch winding okay pole pitch 180 degrees electrical or slots per pole right if coil span if the coil span is less than pole pitch or 180 degrees electrical number of slots per pole then it is called the short pitch coil as fractional pitch coil as chording coil okay full pitch means it should has 180 degrees distance and short pitch means it should have less than 180 degrees right so this is called the two types this is called the coil span simply coil span is it is the distance between the two coil sides next pole pitch pole pitch 
so each pole create an angle of 180 degree 180 degree electrical for p pole machine for p pole machine theta electrical equal p into 180 degrees so for example generally we can call it as pole pitch means pole pitch is nothing but 180 degrees electrical generally okay uh, if it is for p pole machine for example we have the p number of poles in a machine then the total pole pitch then the total theta electrical we can write it as number of poles into 180 degrees we can if it is a two pole machine then the theta electrical equal to 2 into 180 2 into 180 like that so but this is about the elect theta electrical but theta mechanical is itself it has some value right generally we have the relation between electrical theta and mechanical theta so we can write like this if the theta electrical p times into 180 and mechanical theta means completely have 360 degrees completely have 360 degrees we can write like this it is theta electrical value equal to number of poles into 180 by theta mechanical equal to 360 then finally we can write p by 2 p by 2 then we can get electrical theta and mechanical theta relation is like this electrical theta equal to p by 2 times of the mechanical theta p by 2 times of the mechanical theta okay right so uh, this is about this is about the armature winding and uh, different terms related in the armature winding and regarding the pole pitch okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you